Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at ColourPop's new Bye Bye Birdie collection. It's a beautiful one. There's a lot of new products in here. Lately, their new collections, they've kind of been revisiting old products but kind of packaging them new and having like a new palette. But this is like new everything. We have nail art decals, we have an eyeshadow palette, we have a bunch of new lip products, we have the highlight and blush sticks and jelly munch eyeshadows, as well as a new mascara, a cream gel liner pot, and a cream gel liner pencil. So there is there's a lot to talk about today. I'm obviously not going to be able to put everything on my face today, but I did do swatches of the whole collection on my arm so you guys can see all the shades and colors. So with that said, let's just jump into putting some stuff on the face. We definitely need some blush and highlighter on this face, so I'm going to go into the sticks here. I'm going to pick like a highlight and a blush to try. I think I want to go into the blush called Hen Party, and this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Like this is a very neutral, soft, like everyday shade. It's definitely a just shade for blush. I am going to finger brush. I do have foundation and powder on, I mean... Obviously, my skin does not look like this. So I'm going to use a brush and kind of stipple it onto my cheeks. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. You can definitely go back in and build. You can use your fingers. You can use a sponge. You can just like directly apply it to your cheek. But since I do have like a full coverage foundation and powder on, I don't really want to swipe it on my face. I don't want to disturb my foundation. It gives your cheek such a fresh, luminous quality to it. It does not make my skin look textured. It does not bring out my pores. In fact, in a weird way, it almost like smooths it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm gonna take a little bit more with my brush and do the other side. I'm gonna move on to highlighter and I'm gonna use the shade Flycatcher. Oh my God, this one is so pretty. It's kind of like a rose, rose gold shade. I feel like as a straight up highlighter, it's going to maybe be a little bit too dark for me. I don't know, I have to try it out. I think I'm gonna go into the same brush, just grab a little bit of it first and Kind of dab this right over top like the blush just so we can see like what the tone looks like definitely really pretty it's kind of like a blush topper i don't know if this is going to be like a highlight shade for me i'm gonna take a little bit with my finger my cheeks look so healthy very youthful look i have to say um i don't know if i would use this to like highlight my nose or anything it is gonna have a little bit of like a pinky tint to it so i might just go into another highlighter just to add more glow to my face because i need it that's just who I am. These make really good bases for your powder highlight. If you want something to like stick and pop more, it definitely like, it's a good base. I like it a lot. I'm using this Jouer highlighter in Citrine. It's gorgeous. I'm just adding a very, very tiny amount. I feel like we need to glow a little bit more today. Now we're moving on to the eye products and there are quite a bit of eye products to test out. I'm gonna try to use as many things as I possibly can. Unfortunately, um, there are four Jelly Much eyeshadows but two of the ones they sent me are doubles, so I'm missing the shade Early Birdie, which is a gorgeous, like, pale golden shade. Oh my god, I feel like that would have been, like, my favorite one. So I'm only gonna have three Jelly Mutt shadows to share with you guys today. Things happen. So this is the Bye Bye Birdie eyeshadow palette, which I think is absolutely stunning. Like, I love when there's, like, hints of metallic in the packaging. It makes it so pretty and mesmerizing. These are the shades inside. Oh, so reflective. You have two Super Shock formulas in here which make me really happy because I absolutely love them because they're very just wet looking and they just look stunning all over the lid it just really blended out I don't know they're just gorgeous and then you have two of those glitter um, formulas in there which I know a lot of people are not really a fan of uh, this one's a lot more chunky it is gorgeous though like I swatched these and it was stunning but again I will say in every video that I do these glitters be careful, they're not really intended for your eye area. I have to say the one color in this palette that really, really stands out to me, which surprises me, is this one right here. It's called Fly By Night. It's like this beautiful matte plum shade, but inside it has tons of gold fine shimmer. Something about it, it just looks stunning, and I can imagine that all over the lid. The majority of this palette, like the colors I would use in my crease to start with, are basically on the more plummy purpley tone side so i feel like that's kind of the vibe we're gonna get today and i'm gonna put something really pretty on the lids we also have jelly mud shadows that i'm gonna try to dabble in as well let's just do something i don't know what but when do we ever know i'm gonna start off with the shade nesting which is just like a nudie matte shade and i'm gonna pop that into my crease because i feel like this is not bright enough to go underneath the brow bone but it's gonna give a nice 
wash in the crease that's actually so pretty I'm using like a gigantic brush this is one of my favorite brushes to just really like diffuse a crease color it just gets a lot of coverage on my eye this is the morphly 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 well we invented a new brand morphly jaclyn hill jh30 brush and it's humongous i mean it's gotten fluffier as i've washed it by the way i washed all my makeup brushes and life is good again we don't have the biggest range of matte shadows in this palette we have one two three um, these ones do have sparkle in it. I mean, you can use it in your crease if you wanted to, but for the most part, you just have this shade, this bright purpley plum, and then this shade right here. So I think I'm going to mix these two together. Oh, wow, this is quite pigmented. When was the last time I did something purple tone? I can't remember. I feel like I've been falling a little bit behind on like ColourPop videos. I mean, they, it's no secret that they come out with something new every single week so for me like just as a youtuber it's very hard to sit down and film all of those collections because outside of youtube like i have a very busy life um i have a lot of things going on right now in my personal life so to sit down and film something every single day it's very difficult and honestly I want to film more videos outside of just ColourPop videos. I feel like that's all people kind of know me for is just my ColourPop videos. And while I appreciate it, I do want to do different things as well. But I can't wait to share with you guys like the exciting things that are happening in my personal life very soon. Um, it's definitely good stuff, but oh man, you guys, it's, it's a lot of work. I'm just like slowly building shades up. Right now, I'm just using that matte like purple fuchsia shade by itself just to add a little bit more bright intensity to the look and then every now and then i'll go back to that first like jaclyn hill morphe i mean morphly uh blending brush and i just kind of buff out like all the edges i'm going to take this color right here it's called fly by night and i'm going to kind of pack that on my outer lid and see what happens i'm gonna clean everything up you guys don't worry uh, i also feel like this eye is doing something so weird like it looks so weird and patchy on camera but it's like so smooth on this eye. I think my eye's just being weird. So I'm gonna take some of the shadow and I'm just gonna press that onto my lid. Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. It's not as like super sparkly on the eye as it looks like in the pan. Maybe if you use it wet, you might get a little bit more sparkle, but it is a really pretty color. I'm gonna take the shade Ariel, which is one of those super shock shadows on a very EDB brush here. And I think I'm gonna try it on the brown one first and see if it's light enough. Oh, oh well. Definitely works. It's very, very sparkly. So if you don't like a sparkly brow, maybe don't do this. It's really pretty though. It's kind of like a rose gold shade. Let's also put that in the inner corners of the eyes. Ooh. Oh, I totally forgot to do my lower lash line. But I'm just basically going to do like the same thing I did in my crease. Same shade. Actually, no. Scratch that. I'm going to go into this beautiful metallic purple shade on a small little pencil brush. And that's what I'm going to use to smudge underneath my lower lash line just so we can use different colors. Oh wow. Oof. She's pigmented. I brought it inwards a little bit and on top of that Super Shock shadow, it just kind of like transformed it to a different shade. It's gorgeous. Ooh, that was so pretty. Like goes on like butter. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Boo Bird and it's kind of like a pink with some sparkle in it. I don't think we're going to pick up too much sparkle, but I'm just going to run this underneath the lower lash line just to give it a little bit more dimension and blend that purple out a little bit. I think for my lids, I'm gonna go into this Jelly Much eyeshadow. It's called On The Fly. And with kind of like a flat little brush here, I'm going to lay it down. I don't think I'm gonna do a cut crease, but I'm gonna use this kind of as a base and then maybe go back to the eyeshadow palette and top it with something. This is actually so freaking pretty. Oh, it looks really nice with the eyes. It kind of just gives it like a glossy lid look. I did not expect to go this dramatic today, honestly, but sometimes drama is good. Unless that drama is about you, then maybe not so much. I think I want to take a little bit of this glitter. It's called it Amuse Me. I thought I said excuse me. Um, I'm taking a very small amount of that, and I'm going to gently tap it on my lid, but I'm going to take like a setting spray that's just from Morphe, and I'm going to spritz my finger with it just to kind of wet it and make sure none of the glitters like fall out and i'm going to just tap that on the center of my lid i just feel like we need a little extra something on the lid and this is going to give it to us this is definitely a lot finer than that other glitter the other glitter is super chunky i'm going to bring it a little bit 
Ooh, we brought it real high up. Okay, so we have glitter all over the eye now. Um, so this definitely didn't just stay on the center of my eye. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. But the setting spray situation worked really nice because I don't have any fallout on my face. And, um, okay, sure. Originally, my eye was just supposed to look like that, but we turned into that. So I have to kind of do the same thing on this side. Glitter everywhere, which is not bad. It just gives it more of like a whimsical, magical look, and it looks really pretty like under lights. I'm gonna go into the cream gel color in the shade Charmer. It's like a really deepened black and plum shade. I'm gonna use a little angled brush and do a wing liner. Done with my wings, I also lined my waterline with the pencil in the same shade Charmer. Now I'm gonna take the mascara. This is in the shade plum and get it i'm gonna put this on my lower lashes first just to kind of see what the color looks like there's also false lashes in this collection i don't know if i mentioned i'm still debating if i should put some false lashes on or not so if i do i don't want to do this color mascara on the top if that makes sense this color is really pretty actually i could see this bringing out like a lot of different eye colors these are the lashes in batty clearly i would need to trim these a little bit but these are like really va va voom Oh wow, these are super pretty. Um, yeah, a little too long for me, but I think it's a little too dramatic. <laughs> Keep in mind, I don't have mascara on, but this is the Lash in the Style Shorty. It's really, really natural, like very wispy, but very long and pretty. So I feel like that's really nice, but I feel like we need a little bit extra something something. I think the best option is the Style Shorty. These kind of just have both of those lashes combined. Oh, and it does not look like I need to trim these. So BRB, let me go actually pop these on and I'll be right back. All right, I am back with the lashes on. This is the final and complete eye look. I'm really, really happy with it. It's gorgeous. I love the tones, the glitter, the sparkle, even the lashes. These are really pretty. They're definitely the type I would wear, although I really do enjoy a clear band because it's a little bit more comfortable. Like I could feel these lashes on my eyes. It does feel a little bit heavier, but so far they're not like poking my eye or irritating it, so that's good. Overall, I'm very, very happy. Now let's move on to swatching all the lip products. We have four brand new ultra blotted lips, which I'm very excited about because I love this formula so much. And we have two ultra glossy lips. I am gonna swatch everything on my lips, like I've mentioned. So without further ado, let's just start with the glasses first. Swatches. I'm really happy that they came out with new ultra blotted lips because it's just like a really easy soft Versatile lip color you can wear it very very minimal like how I showed you guys I added a little on my bottom Went like that and it's like a very soft wash of color But it makes your lips look like velvet or you can build it up with more pigment and it looks like you have lipstick on but it's like matte velvety it doesn't it doesn't really transfer if you kind of do that you might get a little bit on your finger. I think my two favorite shades are actually this one and the first ultra blotted lip I wore. This is called Cloud Chaser. <laughs> That's funny. 
and the other one is called Starling. It's like a beautiful like nudie shade, which really suits my skin tone nicely. So really like those. I mean, everything was really nice, but I think these are my two favorite lip colors. I think I've put a majority of this collection on my face. I think what's left now is all these swatches of everything in the collection on the arm. So let's get into it. I wanna know your secrets I wanna be your lifeline So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Tell me you're more than just a highlight Pretty pictures on the outside I hate to stare at you through these lights So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Oh, oh, this ain't love, no, no This ain't love, no, no This is artificial I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. It's definitely out on the website already So if you guys have it, let me know what you think. I very much enjoy Colourpop's eyeshadow palette So I have nothing against it. I loved it I think it's a beautiful palette and I'm obsessed with the eye look that I did create It's just generally not something I see myself reaching for every day I mean, there's definitely colors in here. I would use with other eyeshadows or just like top my lids with something I really love these super shock formulas in here, but as a whole I'm more of like kind of like a brown neutral type of gal and there's only like three matte shades in here and it's again these like deeper plummy shades and this one right here. It is beautiful and I really like it. It's just not something I'm going to use every day. With all that said, thank you guys so so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at MessyJessieBeauty, Instagram MakeupByJessie. Also if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. I'd appreciate it so very much and also hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and you don't miss out. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! <laughs>